All right, guys, let's talk, and gals, let's talk about how to actually monetize your podcast, okay? And, like, let's take a real good focus, because as much fun, I mean, I get put off a little bit by getting all marketing with you and not letting you be a, just a creator of something awesome, because it's totally fine if you just want to be a creator. But I pay my bills and my taxes and it's a lot of money and I have been very focused on monetization. So be a creator, but I'm going to teach you now how to make some money, all right? How to make some good money, all right? I can teach you some cool shit, all right? So how to monetize your podcast right off the bat. This is uh, just one idea and I think you might like it. So let's see, we're at Fiverr. So this is just to give you an idea. Um, actually, let's see. Maybe you change this thumbnail. Here it is. So you guys can either create a five or two, or you can just cut out. Fiverr will take a little bit of money, but if you just cut out the middleman and you let me build you a website, you can go into Facebook groups, LinkedIn groups, and start offering slots on your podcast um, for marketers, and you can charge them a fee. All right, and this is just how to make money right away with your podcast. So I will promote and advertise your business or website to my podcast and social networks. 10 bucks is super cheap, but 25, 50 bucks. I mean, you could start making 50 bucks an episode, right? And then you make, you know, five episodes a week. That's 250 bucks extra money, you know, for no added value. All you have to do is create this podcast and then as your podcast gets better and you get more narrowed in on your niche, you know, boom, you can start charging $1,000 or and you can get sponsorships for multiple episodes. And this can really just start to tumble. But this is just a way that you could do it right now. Okay, so you could start your podcast. I mean, even if you don't have too many episodes out, or at least have a couple to show your people what your stuff is about. But this guy, this guy is a sports thing like I mean whatever there's probably lots of people that are listening to sports but if you actually have a lot of followers I guess he has a lot of followers but if you at least build up what you're going to be doing and you give people a good price on the first couple episodes or whatever why not I mean you want to obviously hunt down businesses that have a real broad reach you know because you don't know who's really listening to your podcast but it could drive some traffic, and if you for fifty bucks, I mean, what business owner wouldn't want to have an opportunity to be on as many podcasts as possible? You have to remember that most business people, if they're smart, they want to be on more podcasts. And if you can just put them on there on a rotating thing, and you can put them on a retainer or something, boom, that's some money for you guys. Okay. Um, now let's talk about another way for you to monetize your podcast which is going to be selling your own stuff. I think I already talked about this in another video. But if you create your own products, write a book, you know, create a course, create some merch, you'll be able to sell that on your podcast. And the easiest way for you to do that is to get people to opt into your newsletter, all right? So, so I've shown you how to create an ebook already. Um, I'm going to show you how I've created a course, but then I'm also going to show you how to um, make it a lot easier so that you can start making a podcast, uh, selling an, a digital product, and really start making a lot of money. Um, I don't know actually why I'm showing you mine. I guess I'll just show you what I use, and then we'll go to an easier way. Now, the reason that I built all my stuff is because once I paid for it, I don't have to pay for it anymore. Uh, for a long time and I just like to have that control to fully optimize everything and have it all remain on my business site okay so what I use to make my course is I use a uh, wish list member 50 bucks and then I use Thrive uh, Apprentice or Thrive Architect which is 90 bucks every quarter um, and then I use ConvertKit for my email marketing okay and I do it all on WordPress um, and I built it all, and that's what I use for a course. But if that sounds too complicated, um, I can make that for you too. So, whatever. Thank you. 
No, I don't think you're good. There he is. Teachable. So, this is... Maybe it was Think of It. Fuck. I need to edit this. This is a really easy way um, for you to make a course, though. Okay? Anyways, these guys are really cool. So, Teachable is an, an all-in-one uh, course thing. Like, so basically, you pay them a monthly fee, and it's all built for you already. All you have to do is record the videos, and what you can do is, while you're recording your podcast, you can videotape yourself, and you can turn those into courses. And, if you know, you just save some of the really uh, expensive and impressive details and put them in there. So this is a great option. This is just one, build a course, you know. Um, if you're not, if you don't feel like you're an expert on something, uh, it's okay. Build, you know, there's lots of other options. This is just a good way because once you make a course, right, then, you, then you can just keep doing your podcast and you can pitch that on every podcast. And it's a great way to monetize your podcast because look, you're making your podcasts and it's going to be building and building and building. And you're going to be getting a lot of lots and lots of ears and lots of traffic. And you're going to be able to drive that traffic somewhere. So you might as well drive it to your own uh, course or your own product so you can keep the profit or at least have a really good affiliate offer that make, makes it worth your time, okay? So, but the number one I say is create a digital product. Teachable is great. There's a whole bunch of other ones. I think I already, I, I tried using Thinkific and I, I went with WordPress because like I said, I, I'm, I'm really good at making websites and I just like, like all of it. But this is another great one. So Thinkific. This is another great way for you to create a course. Uh, and like I said, like they have it all built. They made it pretty easy. It's actually a really good experience pretty for your students and stuff like that. So, I mean, that's just one way. You can film a course, uh, but that's just another thing on top of your podcast. I know that's quite a bit, but I'm just trying to help you guys monetize and make as much money as possible. Again, with the course though, make it once and then you just pitch it every episode and you'll just start making sales and sales and sales. And this is where we were talking about getting in that rhythm. You'll get in that rhythm of reaching more people. And I already showed you how to basically guerrilla market your podcast. So you're using your podcast to have people build a relationship with you. And then you're driving them to more, to have more of a relationship because people, we're naturally consumers. And when we find something we like, we want more of it. You know, that's just how it is. So this is a great way to make some extra money. All right, number two, let's talk about uh, consulting, okay? And consulting can sound big and scary, but look, it's pretty simple, to be honest with you. Well, I mean, you have to actually help people. If you don't like helping people or talking on the phone with people or getting involved and going out of your way, then it's not a good bet. But um, if it is something you're interested in, here's what you do. You basically... You, you record an ad that says, you know, this is what I do, and I would like to help as many people as I can or whatever. So I, I'm an entrepreneur coach. I do it all the time. But look, like, you get your website. I, I'll build this for you if you want me to. And you just have a, a Calendly calendar, and you get a discovery call. And then you can even use that um, textiful. And if they want to opt in, they can just text the number. I'm on the phone. You basically, you like your first, your first one is basically like a download. You just listen to everything that they have to say. And then a after that, you say, okay, well, I think I can help you. Um, this is my fees. You tell them how much you cost. And even in your commercial on your podcast, you can actually tell people how much it costs. That way you are only getting warm leads that already know how much you cost. You don't have to have that awkward like selling conversation. You can just get a bunch of phone calls where people... Um, that you want to help call, you know, that they, they, they all listen to your, your podcast. They all go and they just click this link and they just get a 15 to 30 minute call or 15 minutes. Isn't that bad? Isn't that big of a commitment either? And you just try and help people. And then you can figure out, I mean this, and then the people from your podcast, right. Are free traffic to, to your coaching. Like, I mean, it's a pretty good situation. You don't have to have too much else. I mean, I would record a video sales letter as well. Um, and I would also make sure you capture people's email that call because they might not do it right then, but then after a while goes by, you might be able, they might still keep listening, becoming a fan, and then they'll become one, one of your coaches. And then you can spend 
just your time podcasting and coaching, and then you can just double down on that. Or, you know, and, and coaching can be a lot of things, consulting and coaching. I mean, maybe you have a lot of experience in your field um, and you can use your podcast to show your experience. And then you can also use your podcast to drive traffic to consulting. So boom, that's a, a great way to monetize. Um, so build a course, consulting. Um, now, let's be honest. Um, selling merch is kind of like, it's really cool. I mean, if you have a big enough fan base, but that takes a while for people, unless you're a graphic designer or you want to hire a graphic designer, and then you can do it. The cool thing about Printful is then is you can adjust the prices. Okay. So say you run an ad and you sell one shirt, um, and it costs you 16 bucks, right? Well, then you raise your prices to 26 bucks and you make 10 bucks off each shirt if you're running an ad and then you make a lot of money. And what's also a cool thing is if you have a higher, like say your course is like 500 bucks or a thousand bucks, send them a free shirt with your podcast on it. This is a great way to make money. And I, uh, well, I don't know if Printful, most, I don't think Printful costs any money up front to make the, the pictures. It's just when they, when you sell one, uh, they charge you like six bucks. So you just have to add that on top of your fees and you can like just put your podcast logo on a shirt and some hats. Um, and you're, you're off to the races and they don't just have shirts, man. Look, they got mugs, long sleeve shirts, hats, cell phone covers, stickers, man. Stickers are cool. Oh, look, they tell you how much they cost. $2 and 13 cents. You could sell a sticker for 10 bucks if it's cool enough and it has your logo. These jackets are 34 bucks. It's a little bit expensive, but and pillows, bags, like all this stuff will have your design, your, your podcast logo. And then this is just another great way for you to make some money. And again, you sell, sell these on your website, on your Shopify, or you sell it with Wix or WooCommerce, any of these guys. Cool. And it's just another ad way to monetize. <laughs> and I mean, you could just go all in on this, but not everybody wants to buy your merch, so you don't have to get too crazy, but it's also an added thing. Like if you have a YouTube channel, you can put it on there. And if, if in your podcast, you, you mention like you're going to have an event or something and you'd like uh, everybody to get involved and buy a ticket, you'll get a free t-shirt. You know, it can be an added bonus or if you want to call in and win a free t-shirt, you know, that's always a great way to have a competition or just win a free t-shirt. And if you subscribe to my podcast, you know, these things uh, can really begin to work. And then you can also um, drive traffic on your website for people to go check out your shirts. Be like, Hey, go check out my latest shirt. Uh, it's signed by, you know, somebody or something. I don't know. You'll, you'll get creative with it. If you really want to go down this road of the sweet, sweet, uh, merch. <laughs> All right. Um, and then the next, one, and the next one we're going to talk about is affiliate marketing. So you have to think of something that really relates to your audience. So let's just, let's start with uh, Clickbank because we can. So whatever your um, audience is about, it's good to use uh, things that are working in your niche already. All right, so everything on Amazon, uh, you can become an affiliate to. Now, you're not going to make very much. It's like 3%, but um, if you make a podcast about anything, there's stuff on here. And then one of the best, uh, what's it called, sponsors for your podcast is Audible. But I think you have to have at least a thousand downloads an uh, episode for them to give it to you. Because the Audible affiliates, they already have, but they already have uh, pre-recorded uh, ads that you can put into your podcast, like the ones that they like. So this is all you have to do, I guess, is become an affiliate. And then you could do book reviews, and you could have people go straight to Audible using your key things. So I think that's a really good idea for anybody who's trying to monetize. What I recommend you do is pretty easy. So you mentioned that you have a newsletter um, and that's one way that you can do it because then you can just start sending them emails uh, where you give value, you talk about your show, but then you can also recommend different affiliate products. 
I guess here I'll finish this. So let's just say microphone. Microphone. So you can just tell people like, hey, I'm trying to uh, get the best equipment for my podcast possible. If you guys want to buy my dream mic through my affiliate link, or if you want to use the a microphone like me and start a podcast, go to this website and use my affiliate link. I really like this one, you know. And then you just you create an a, an a uh, affiliate account with these guys, and then you put it on your website, and you just drive traffic from there. You create your own little ads, little segues, and you say, "Hey, you want to support this channel? Uh, check out all my favorite things on Amazon, um, and you buy purchase through my affiliate link." You have to tell them it's an affiliate link. There's no scamminess. You you tell them like, "Hey, this is my affiliate link," but if you want to support the channel, please uh, purchase through my links. It's just like become an affiliate to a, quite a few different products or of, of things that you actually use. Like these are all products that I actually use. And then all these are just links to affiliates. Now I'm still working on this website. So I'll mention these in my podcast. I'll tell them, check them out in my evergreens resources page, evergreentactics.com slash resource. And then they'll come here and they'll, they'll maybe they'll buy something. I mean, after you get a certain amount of downloads, like you're bound to have somebody buy. But you want to make sure you have really good, like reoccurring, uh, affiliate offers to make it worth your time. So like Thrive Themes, they're a really good one because if people sign up through their link, um, which I think you guys should do because it's actually just a really good purchase, but then I can get a small payout every couple months. So if you guys make websites with WordPress, use Thrive Themes and please use my affiliate link. See, I just did it right there. But let, let me show you some other things. So if you become a ClickFunnels affiliate, you I mean, if you don't know this, this is why so many people tell you about ClickFunnels all the time because they charge $99 a, a month for their cheapest plan. They're, they're cheapest to use ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels is awesome. It's a tool. But if you become an affiliate of ClickFunnels um, and you sell their products to somebody, that means that every month you'll be making 40 bucks. So just think about that. If you became a ClickFunnels affiliate for your podcast, and then you ran ClickFunnel ads with your, to your affiliate link, okay? And you just got 10 people, just 10 people out of all the people, out of all the ways that we've shown you how to grow your podcast audience and reach more people, just 10, you're making 400 bucks a month. That's that's pretty good. And then if you get 100, you're making $4,000 a month as an affiliate. And if you make, you know, so on and so forth. So 100 people, if you, if you just focused on one call to action for ClickFunnels for a whole year, you could get more than 100 people, I guarantee it. And then you'll, you'll have reoccurring monthly income. And you'll be able to afford to use ClickFunnels. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but you want to find uh, affiliate offers that are worth your time, that are related to your audience. And it has to be a tool that you like, that you use, okay? Because you don't want to send your, your, your audience to crap products. Like, that's just fucked up. So... Don't do anything like that. Just try and find things that are align with who you are, what your podcast is about, and you can just tell people like this is what uh, this will help my channel grow. Please do this, and you'll people will probably do it. I really like the Audible thing because I I read a ton of books. I'm a nerd, and I listen to a ton of audiobooks. So I'm going to sign up for that right now, and I'm going to put that in my podcast because that's what I like. And then I'm going to do book reviews. So that's something that you can do. Okay, another cool thing. I mean, say you have a movie podcast, you can become an affiliate of the movie that you're trying to talk about to people, and then boom, you're good to go. Or a video game podcast, you know, video game. you become an affiliate for any of this stuff. You could sell the latest Nintendo, whatever this is, <laughs> and just tell people how cool it is in an ad. It can be stuff that your audience loves, man. Just be like, hey, if you, you remember Mario, well, they've got Game Boys for 24 bucks <laughs> on Amazon. Please buy through my affiliate link. Check out my website, blah, 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 blah. Boom. Uh, a little bit of extra monetization for your podcast, okay? And these are just like the basics. I'm going to teach you how to make some, some real, real money uh, now. Why not? Fuck it. Okay, so... so if you want to make some really good money, all right, you have to have an offer um, 
and you have to be willing to spend a little bit of money on ads. But what you do is you create a really nice WordPress website or whatever website you like, okay? And then every episode, instead of driving all the traffic to iTunes or Spotify, you embed, okay, you embed the newest podcast episode on your website, right? But what you're going to be doing is some cool marketing where you have to have a high ticket item, right? A high ticket product that you want to sell to your audience already, okay? Um, this could be the coaching idea. Uh, this could be anything. So you see how I have, these are actually, <laughs> this is Google. This is a, a weird one and this is the full one, but I've embedded these all onto my website. And this isn't looking good, I'm gonna re-edit this, but this is just to give you an idea of what it means to embed onto the site, okay? And then I give them an option to go here and listen to my stuff, but first they come to my website, okay? Now when they come to my website, um, I, have a, I have Facebook pixels on there, and I have Google pixels on there, okay? And here's where it gets really powerful. So you drive all your listeners to your website, okay? And they get hit by this pixel, right? And then they get put into a bucket on Facebook and Google, a remarketing bucket, okay? So let's just see what it is. I mean, like, this is a brand new pixel. I just did this, like, on this show for you guys. So I showed it to you. And I show you how to install this, too, on your WordPress website, or I'll do it for you, okay? But you're creating episode every week, boom, 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 boom. And instead of driving traffic to the iTunes, which I recommend if you want to rank in iTunes higher, and if it's very competitive, that's good. But if uh, you have you already have a something you want to sell your audience, then you drive all your audience to your website. Okay. So, I mean, look, I have 418 people. All these people have gone to my website, and I can run an ad strictly to these people. So you have to think about this. So people are are listening in their podcast to you, they like you, you got an audience, you're building, they go to your website, right? Um, they, okay, in, in the podcast, they hear your high ticket offer or whatever it is you offer, okay? They go to your website, they listen to you, they see that your podcast, they check your website out, they see your high ticket offer, right? Then they hop off your website because they didn't buy at this moment, they go to Facebook, they're scrolling through Facebook, they'll see an ad, for your off video ad to get them to come back to your website to buy, okay? Or they'll just they'll they'll hear it, they'll go to your website where the podcast is. They'll just look at the podcast stuff. They'll really enjoy their experience. They'll hop out. They'll go on Facebook, right? And then they're gonna see one of your really powerful ads, okay? And that's where you can make a sale. That's where you can start making a lot of money because you're building this audience of not just podcast listeners. These are people that have a relationship with you. And they're way more likely to buy from you, okay? So this is another reason to have a course, to have a high ticket offer, a coaching, um, some really good affiliate offers, and merch, whatever. You could retarget them with merch and they'll be like, yeah, I wanna buy that shirt, hell yeah, you know? Like that's a great idea. And it's not just on Facebook, okay? The Google Pixel is gonna be able to allow you to create display ads so that people, no matter where they, oh, well, not no matter, but most places on the internet uh, get paid through Google AdSense. And you can create the little tiny uh, display ads so that they're gonna listen to your podcast. They're gonna go to your website, right? They're gonna go off your website and look at cat videos. They're gonna see your YouTube ads, right? They're gonna get off of YouTube, they're gonna go to Facebook, they're gonna see your Facebook ads. They're gonna get off of Facebook, they're gonna go ahead and Google pajamas, and they're gonna see your ad on the pajama site, and they're gonna, you're gonna stay super relevant in their life. They're gonna constantly keep coming back to listen to your podcast, to buy your products, to build your audience, to become a raving fan of yours, okay? This is the superpower, all right? And on top of that, if you do the SEO ranking stuff where you rank um, for like your, your podcast for something that's important to your audience or something that you sell, so not only are they going to listen, they're going to learn from you. They're going to see that you're an authority, okay? They're going to check out your website or they're going to check out your Facebook page. They're going to watch your videos on YouTube. And this is, this is just how you build. This is how you get into a huge rhythm. This is how it just starts to take over 
and how you can really become a monster player in the podcasting world and have a huge audience, not only in your podcast, but that love you for your podcast because you keep putting out great content over and over and over. And if you need more help trying to figure out, you know, like your high ticket offer, I'm here for you. I'll help you figure out a high ticket offer so that you can build your podcast that you love and then just have yourself as your ads because those feel more real to your podcast listeners, you know, and don't think that you're like coming off as spammy or you're going to push them away. If anything, they want to know more about what you're doing and you, you, and why you're charging money is because you have to pay your bills. You have to feed your family and because you have a staff or something that you have to keep employed in order to make some money. You know, it's just, it's, there's no, there's no bad word in profit, right? So if you have that mindset that money is bad, then I don't know what your problem is. This is how you do it. This is how you take over the world with podcast domination, podcast promotion. And then you can also record a book and then you can sell it to all your podcast listeners. You can make a journal. You can sell it to all your podcast listeners. There's all sorts of other stuff that you could do like for print on demand um, and so on and so forth. I hope you learned a lot from this. Uh, if you have any questions, put it in the comments. Keep trying to focus to figure out really clear cut paths for you guys, but this is a good, good start. Monetize. All right, so the last way that you can monetize is just by asking for donations. So Patreon, I know a lot of people that make some good money, you know, if you just, if you don't care about money and you, but you do want to maybe support the channel or just ask for donations because you don't feel like marketing or whatever. Um, Patreon is awesome. You just create an account and you basically have your own little gateway to, uh, asking people to donate and and lots of people go here to donate uh to people that are really creating awesome stuff and i think it's just another pretty good opportunity so you can ask your audience hey would you guys mind helping me out maybe i'll be able to get some new equipment make this podcast become even more do some marketing so on and so forth uh just go to my patreon it's this 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 and and uh make some money